In the life cycle of seed plants, the sporophyte generation develops sporangia, where spore mother cells undergo meiosis. Microspores are produced in microsporangia, and megaspores are produced in megasporangia. So seed plants are heterosporous. They produce two different types of haploid spores. The haploid spores then undergo mitosis and produce the haploid gametophyte. These gametophytes are small and dependent on the sporophyte generation for their nutrition. The male gametophyte produces the pollen grain, which grows into a pollen tube. This tiny male gametophyte only possesses eight nuclei in gymnosperms and three nuclei in angiosperms. The female gametophyte develops in and is surrounded by sporophyte tissue, in contrast to the pollen grain, which has a brief period where it's transported by either wind or a pollinator. The female gametophyte consists of about a thousand cells in gymnosperms and is complete with archegonia where the eggs are produced. In contrast, the female gametophyte in angiosperms possesses only about eight nuclei. When a haploid sperm fuses with a haploid ovum, a diploid zygote is produced, the first cell of the new sporophyte generation. These sperm cells do not possess flagella and grow within the pollen tube in angiosperms and in conifers. There are a few gymnosperms which still do possess flagella on their sperm. In conifers and angiosperms, the entire male gametophyte forming the pollen tube grows towards the female gametophyte. This is in contrast with lower forms in which only the flagellated sperm moves towards the egg. The diploid zygote develops within a seed, and upon germination, this seed develops into the sporophyte generation, which is the dominant generation in the seed plants. The sporophyte generation then develops microsporangia, which will develop the microspores and pollen grains. This occurs in male cones in gymnosperms and in the stamens of flowering plants. The sporophyte will also produce the megasporangium, which will produce the megaspores and eggs. This occurs in the female cones of gymnosperms and in the carpels of angiosperms.